Merle Norman is a special brand. Founded in 1931 um, by a woman named Merle Nethercutt Norman. She was from the Midwest. She was a brave woman, married a man, and moved to California in the, when it was truly the wild, wild west. And uh, one of the things that she was really passionate about was caring for others. Merle was really the founder of Try Before You Buy, really the embodiment of female entrepreneurship in a time when women didn't work. It was really unusual for women to have non-traditional jobs. She was a very passionate woman and she had very strong beliefs. She believed in honesty, integrity, respect, doing what you love and sharing that with others and finding a way to help other people feel good about themselves. I think supporting a community is something that just is part of the American DNA. And so Merle has given this really unique opportunity to men and women across the U.S. that other beauty retailers don't give. And so I think that's something that's super special. Our products are manufactured right here in the United States, right in our building. Our scientists can go right down to the line and double check it right as it's being made and constantly uh, ensure that quality and consistency of the product. So one of the things I think is important for any potential franchisee to know is that there is an army of people here at our corporate headquarters who are in, as invested in their success as they are. And that there are all these people who care very deeply for each of our studio owners and how well they perform. And for me, you know, it's that longevity. It's, it's knowing you can you know, be confident in, in selling something and seeing the evolution of the product over the years. What's the future of Merle Norman? The, the sky's the limit for Merle Norman. We like to refer to ourselves as an 86-year-old young startup. This is a brand that has managed to continuously, successfully reinvent itself on an ongoing basis and continue to have a presence in a category that's incredibly competitive.